Hello! Hi Welcome guys! To the Welcome to the Sky Pass! our little space, you will see our living area right away. This is Slater's dream couch, and we finally got it, and he sleeps in it every single afternoon. And I've learned the art of napping. It's amazing. Yeah, so one of the pieces that we really invested in was a good sofa, because we wanted to be staying here 90% of the time. He doesn't want our future kids to just stay in their rooms the whole time. Mm -hmm. So he wants the living area to be really bright and open and to have like, all this room for people to actually stand by right here. Okay, so uh, this house was designed to have a very cabin feel, but a very modern version of a log cabin-ish vacation home. So what we wanted is it to be very open. You can't quite know where the indoor area is and the outdoor area is. Mm -hmm. And by request of Madame Chris as well, Natural she wanted light. Yes, natural. natural light everywhere. But I want it to be like very bright because I don't like living in dark spaces. I feel like it affects your mood all the time. Yes. I want everything to be super bright, super airy, super light. Mm -hmm. So if you look up and pan up, you will actually see jealousies everywhere. So it's like 360, uh, 360 area of where the light can pass through. Right, yeah. so you can find glass everywhere on your left, on your right, on your front, on your back. The whole 360 area is covered in glass just so that we can have as much light come into the area as possible. Yes, so now we are in the living area. This is where we spend most of our afternoons and evenings. Siesta. Where Chris watches <laughs> reruns of Friends. All the time. All the time. Obsessed. And um, where I sleep. Yeah. So we wanted a couch that's wide enough for the both of us to lie down and take naps. I've learned the art of siesta, guys, <laughs> from Slater. And I, let me tell you, if you are not a nap person, you should try it. It's amazing. Yes. And to further the effect of indoor-outdoor living, if you notice that wall, we extended it outside. And then even the logs outside, we extended it a bit um, towards the inside. So you kind of feel like this whole yeah. wall extends yeah. to the outside. Yeah, the outdoor is an extension of the indoor space, so it looks bigger than it actually is. Yes. And we also chose the same tiles for the inside, yes. all the way outside, so it kind of, you know, leads your eye forward. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no cut, there's no cut of spaces. Yes. These chairs over here, director's chairs, they are from the Stellar brand Works. Stellarworks, and yes. we got them at Design Story in Manila. And I feel like it's such a great compliment to the entire area, even yes. though it's a very contrasty piece. It's like one of those chairs that you see when um, there's like movie sets, estates. Yeah, Slater where the directors to, sit down. You know. Slater wants to reminisce his early days. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and over here, my favorite Ellie chair. It's here because I love elephants, and I feel like when we have a family, this can be where my little baby sits. It's so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Yeah, so if you notice that uh, the design of our house is uh, very minimal, for now there's a lot of spaces, empty spaces. We wanted the, uh, to fill the house slowly with things that we buy from our travel. So right. this is one perfect example. We These got this two little from, men. Yes. <laughs> they're from Bali. They're Bali friends. <laughs> yeah, so they're from Bali. So everywhere we go, we kind of bring a little something and then put it in our house. I feel like it's a little bit more memorable that way to have pieces from your travels like decorate your house mm -hmm. instead of just buying everything all at one go. And it's also lighter on your pocket too because you spend little by little, not all at once. Mm. And um, this ones are actually from Singapore. These hanging, hanging vases. I don't know, yeah, glass vases. Yeah, hanging glass vases. They're from Singapore, but they're actually from Bo Concept. Singapore branch. Yes. <laughs> well, good enough for us, that's fine. And um, instead of putting real plants here, which you technically can, I decided to add some dried flowers here because I don't want to add like soil and make it look dirty, but mm -hmm. I think it looks really, really cute this way. Yes, and a lot of people have been asking us how we got this finish. So it's solid concrete, but it has a wood pattern. Mm, this is yeah. Slater's baby wall. He loves it so much. So comment down below if you want us to Maybe post about it. Like a more technical. The future. Yeah, more technical tour of the house. Yeah, yeah. Slater will do that. Okay. okay, let's move on to the powder room. 
This is our new powder room, guys. Welcome. Do you want to use a bathroom? Yeah. So the powder room, the wall that we were talking about extends through here. You can actually see the pattern as well. These are like construction holes that uh, we uh, decided to keep. It feels Make very it more architectural, industrial. industrial, yeah. And because this house is very manly and construction y and I don't know, industrial, as mm -hmm. you said. Uh, we added a lot of greenery like plants and all of these cool details just to kind of balance everything out like yes. marble and you know pretty vintage -y details like that. Since we're living in a glass house, uh, we wanted there to be a lot of wind coming in and out of the house. So these are one of the examples we put um, louvers here so that we don't need to have exhaust as well for you know when you do your thing here. <laughs> What are guests do number two? We don't want to smell it, so naturally the wind will pick it out. So now we're at the dining area. Yep, this is where we have our dinners. Yes, this table is actually very special. Mm -hmm. This came from a very, very long table, about double the length of the table. But my dad decided to cut it so he can give it to us as a present. It's been in his collection for I would say almost 10 years, 5-10 years probably. And they are sustainably sourced wood, so don't hate on us. <laughs> but what makes it very, very it's special... Old, old wood that he's been collecting. He is, he's been saving this wood to give to Slater when he has his own house. And finally he gave it to us and it's so beautiful. He, you know, cut it and stained it and, you know, really took measures to ensure that it would look great in our house. And we're so very thankful for it. I mean, it looks amazing. Yes, this is an iron wood. Funny story, this table actually when we had it built, because it's so thick, it was actually super high. So when we ate, we eat like military style like that. And so it was very difficult for us for a few months. We had to eventually decide to cut the legs of the table um, yeah. by a few inches so we could eat normally. So now at least it's a normal table. But That's what you get when you have a table that's super thick. Yeah, but now you can't cross your legs under the table. Because it's a so guy like me, when you go inside, it's like it's just perfect. right. Right. You can't do anything. But it's good, it's memorable, and we love it. What about our very eccentric ah. chandelier? So we initially had a different drop light to be set here, but Slater wanted this house to be not so formal, to be, you know, a little, bit artsy. a little bit artsy. A little bit fun. And when we saw this piece, he fell in love with it instantly. It's from Kenneth Kobenpoe. Couldn't stop talking about designer. it. Yeah. And when we got home, he instantly messaged Kenneth, and next thing you know, it's hanging up our ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> we call her Sia. We call her Sia because she's, you know, hanging by a chandelier. And the best thing about our dining table is that when while you're having your dinner, having your lunch, you can you have the ambiance of the pool. Right beside you. Right beside you. You know how they say like, when you're building a house, oh don't bother making a pool, it's very high maintenance and you're probably never gonna use it anyway. But Slater's idea is actually really cool. He put the pool right in the middle of our house so that even if we're not using it, we're still technically using it for aesthetic purposes. Yes. It makes you feel, feel very peaceful. Yes, it does. You know, it serene. does. It yeah. does. It helps the vibe of the entire house. Especially when you see the when it's like windy outside and you see ripples on the yeah. pool and the light reflects towards the house. Yeah, it's so beautiful, guys. One of my favorite parts of the house, the kitchen. I'm always here, I always spend time here. Why are you smirking? <laughs> <laughs> my wife wanted me to sit down for a level. Yeah, because he's so freaking tall. I don't understand. <laughs> it's so hard. Okay, you should always sit in this chair so we're the same height. For some weird reason, everybody gravitates towards the kitchen. And we always see this in videos before we were building our house. Like, the kitchen is always the center of the home. People are always in the kitchen. But we never really expected it. Like, we. Thought people yeah. would chill in the living area or whatever, but no. Even when we have like groups of 10 people in, yeah. in the kitchen. People just lock here even if there's no seat for them. It's so weird. Yeah, they'd rather stand up here than sit down in the dining table. So guess next time, use the dining table. And for all you people building your house or looking to build your house in the future, make sure to invest in your kitchen because it is really the heart of the home. I get it now. People really 
spend time here. I think I think it's a lot easier to bring food in to like get drinks. It can be a dirty area, right. and you're not so scared about what would happen to the table. Right. And so. also, when I'm preparing something for our guests, it's not like you're all having fun and I'm in the kitchen by myself, slaving away. Like they're all mm -hmm. just here beside me. Enjoying, which is really nice. So the kitchen we made sure is very practical yet still beautiful. So the counter that Slater is leaning on is actually marble looking, but it's made of quartz so that it's more durable. It's heat resistant, wow. right? I've taught you a lot. Ah, uh, yes. Good job, me young Padawan. <laughs> If you guys want a full tour of our kitchen, then I have a more detailed one that I will link up in the cards and down in the description box below so you can check that out. So this is made of quartz and our chairs are from Hey Design. It's also from Manila. We bought it at Design Story, right? This one? Yeah, yeah. Design Story. And our lights, lighting fixtures, we actually changed this twice. It used to be gray, but Slater and I decided we want it to be more open, more fresh. And so these lights, I think we got it at Lumina Concepts, also from Manila. They're so beautiful. Let me show you what they look like turned on. It's so pretty. So usually when we have guests over and we're having gin and tonic night or whatever, then we use this for mood lighting and it's very, very beautiful. This is also a wrap that Slater and I really wanted to get and the reason why is very simple. Number one, it has like an ice dispenser and he mm -hmm. uses ice a lot so it's very convenient. And number two, because you can see what's inside just by knocking. But don't look because I didn't arrange it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm very happy with this wrap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It has a small opening if you just want to get um, water, water condiments. Yeah. And a bigger opening if you want to get a lot of things so it mm -hmm. saves you electricity as well and then this area is like our little appliance garage so we have a normal conventional oven here and we have another oven here called the June oven which Slater actually bought online from the US mm -hmm. and the reason why we have two ovens is because this one is actually a smart oven and because both of us don't know how to cook really it kind of has a camera on top and it tells you how to cook a certain item so if so Slater for example, steak, I put in steak, it yeah. automatically detects that it's steak. Right. And it, you put a thermometer in that's part of the whole oven thing. And you just said, uh, okay, I want medium rare and I want medium well. And then, then it cooks it cook all it. for you. Like it has nine different functions. It can roast, it can broil, it can steam, it can do mm -hmm. so many different things. So yeah, it's pretty amazing, I would say. And if you look above here, we tried to maximize our space. By adding trays. like yeah, by adding more storage and this one we had it custom built for our trays so that it would be easy to put them in and put them out. Mm -hmm. So And our kitchen has a secret access. It actually controls the curtains of the entire house. So we have our controllers here and if I press this, one, two, three, four, you can actually see the curtains going down. One of the best things I think we invested in is motorized curtains. It's important to have curtains when you're living in a glass house, especially if you have leather or furniture that gets exposed to the sun. For preserving the life of furniture, you have to block out the UV rays so that um, the leather doesn't discolor, the leather doesn't crack, or like furnitures and paints don't, don't fade. All right, this part of our kitchen is our drinks area. So we have our very beautiful bar cart, which was actually gifted to me by a good friend. Chase. And Slater has all of his gin here. We have champagne at the bottom, tonic water, like tandua is still there. Yeah, it's still there. And also, we have my favorite appliance here in the entire kitchen. It is the DeLonghi coffee machine. And I really like this because number one, we use it every single day. We are coffee drinkers in this household. We love coffee. And I love this machine specifically because it can make me fresh cacao every single day. Yes. It's amazing. And as per request again of Miss Chris, her kitchen has to be very well lit because she will be doing a lot of cooking videos. Yes, which you can check out in the cards and in the description below. <laughs> and also, oh my gosh, this is my famous sink. Famous? And I would say famous because I actually have friends who text me, can I come over to the SkyPod because I want to use your sink. I'm not kidding. Yeah. So it's famous because it's actually, number one, it looks so pretty. It's gold. We actually ordered it from Amazon in the US. And it is automatic, so when you're getting your hands dirty, I don't want to be like touching a raw chicken and then touching my sink and getting the bacteria all over my sink. So you can just actually tap it with any part of your body to turn it on and tap it to turn it off. Super convenient. Yeah, Same. You can pull it out. You can pull it out. 
And then and change the nozzle change when you're the cleaning nozzle. dishes. Very good, love. And this is also automatic. It's an automatic soap dispenser so that everything in the kitchen you can go hands-free, kind of. All the gold accents in the kitchen are actually to balance off how masculine this whole space is. And I feel like it's a very nice juxtaposition. I got this all from Manila Mercantile. So if you guys are looking for gold handles, I know how difficult it is to find them. I've searched far and wide. You're welcome. It's from Manila Mercantile. Mm -hmm. These wooden boards are actually from Dabber Things. They're a Cebu-based brand and they gifted this to us. So I asked them to put the initials SKY, which stands for Slater Chris Young, to those who don't know. And that is why our house is called the Sky Pod. And that is why this kitchen is called the Sky Kitchen. Mm. Welcome to Slater's Man Cave. Take it away, Mila. It's Thank not you. actually my man cave. We designed it to be a multi-purpose room. So we wanted Chris to do yoga. This is actually her idea to have a TV here. Mm -hmm. But right now I'm the one using the space the most because I have all my weight and gym equipments here. And it's a very- It became a gym, a home gym. Basically. Yeah. It's nice because it's not quite inside a room. So whenever I'm working out, I can still interact with Chris. Who's it's, mostly in the kitchen. Who's mostly in the kitchen or watching TV. Mm -hmm. So I can just move in and out easily. As well as I have this perfect view of the, of pool. the pool. Which is really cool. Yeah. So. I think that's the very best thing about this place. Okay, welcome to our guest room. I'm super excited because this just actually got finished two days ago. So to all my guests from Manila, to all my friends who want to stay in the sky pod, you can it's, it's complete. finally, finally complete. Like we actually have a bed now. I'm so happy. The best thing that our architect did, like LLG Architects, was not only to design the entire house, but to design the interiors. What their concept is, so if they're the architects and it's a glass house, they wanted to be the ones to design the interiors because it has to match. Right, right. And it's a good thing because the aesthetic of our architect is exactly how Slater wants it. So yes. they really got along super well. It was very easy for them to coordinate and pick pieces together and stuff like that. I think what really makes this room stand out from the rest of the sky pod is the fact that Slater allowed me to paint the walls. I'm so <laughs> thankful. So this beautiful, beautiful blue color is from Island Paints, who I work with a lot. All the painted walls in this house are from Island Paints. And we picked the colors out. Remember though, we had this whole wall with different colors. That's the thing with colored houses. You can't quite decide because there's so many good colors. It took us probably maybe 10, 15 swatches of blue, just a shade of blue. But it's perfect. Yeah. And they can get any shade that you want. Yes. Yeah. So, so I thank feel you, like, Island Paints. Thank you, Island Paints. And I feel like if this was a white wall, it would look so bare, or you need to add like paintings on the wall or a lot of other decorations to keep it like looking really fresh. Mm -hmm. But super simple with a splash of color with this blue. Instantly, it looks like a hotel room. But but I like that it's just one side of the wall yeah. that we painted. We didn't it's paint an accent the wall. Room. Yeah, I don't think I'd feel too good about an entire blue room. Yeah, when you go in, your skin tone would be off. So right, yeah, right. you can't film. I can't film. But you know, the wall behind this shelf and also in the other parts of the room, they are not white. They're actually a shade of gray. And there are so many different shades of gray we learned from Island Paints, right? We also had a lot of trouble like finding the right shade of gray that I approved of. So apparently there's a bluish gray, there's a reddish gray, there's a yellowish there's gray. There's a neutral gray, there's, there's a, a warm gray. gray. And so eventually what we had them do was combine black and white to get that perfect neutral gray. Yes. And that's the color that we have here. I love it. It's not so bright, it's not so dark, it's perfect and it complements all the things in the house super yes. well. And it's not so shiny as well. Guys, watch my YouTube videos and you'll know that this background may seem very, very familiar. This is where I film most of my videos. And it's still from Island Paints, a very beautiful pink wall. Yes, my Caladrill wall. Caladryl. It's inspired by the Caladrill anti ish Calamine lotion, which I love. Yes. <laughs> and I'm so happy because, again, Slater allowed me to paint this entire wall, any shade that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And because it is my personal space in my home office, I decided to paint it pink. Yes. Because, Lasha Bogoa. 
Chris's request for this space was to have a white brick wall and she wanted like real bricks at first so I recommended something a little bit um, less pricey a little bit more approachable so you know what I we grinded the plaster of the wall uh, we cut grooves on the wall using a finger <laughs> right? a no. finger? oh I thought he did it with a finger like just like that no. oh no did I? a grinder no. <laughs> Okay, it took yeah. more effort than I imagined. But okay, so yeah. So because this wall was already done, it was already flat. You right. can actually do that. They, they have a tool for that to mark it. Um, if it's not yet done. If it's not yet hardened. But um, that, that one was, um, we finished the wall. She wanted a brick wall. So what we did is we grinded this. And we kind of like kept it freehand to get the natural, the natural wavy, imperfect uh, design. And then we painted it white. Mm. So it saved us a lot of money just then buying bricks and then installing it and then, yeah. you know. Yeah, saved us time too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if we move on to this area, which was also custom built for me by my Navifobe and designed by my bestie. She's amazing. Her name's Jillian Wash. She's an interior designer. Guys, let me tell you, it pays to have an interior designer best friend because I closed my eyes and opened it and when I opened it, like this whole room was filled with furniture from Madame Foam and I didn't even lift a finger. So it's super amazing. Um, she knows me so well. She made the drawers just the right size where I can keep all my stationery, where I can keep all my pens, where I can keep all my stickers. And she even designed everything for me. Like all of these things that you see on the shelves, they're actually old pieces, decorative pieces that I already have. And so it just looks so good and so well put together. She just injected like vases from Mandawa foam, like the ones here above or the ones here. And in the very center of this whole shelf is this very beautiful wall decal in this calendar design, which is similar to the one that I already have in my previous home office, which I'll put a link down to below as well. It's from Deco Bar Manila and they had it created and shipped all the way to Cebu for me. And it's so beautiful. I mean, I'm a planner and looking forward when we have our family, I want to be able to see like what everybody's plans are. So this is an easy way to keep track of my schedule, Slater's schedule and the whole family schedule. And it looks really, really pretty. Welcome to the master's bedroom. <laughs> This is our favorite piece in the master's bedroom. It is our Ogawa massage chair. And Ogawa is now open in Cebu, so mga Cebuano, go na. It's, this is the best thing ever, right? Like, we always take care of it. This is the most popular piece of furniture in our entire house. In our entire house. Like, People whenever visit we have us guests. Just to use this. Yes. My sister in law sometimes comes here just to use our massage chair. That's true. She will text later, I'm coming over to use your massage chair. Yep. <laughs> People love it so much and it's for a good reason because it's super comfortable. Mm -hmm. It massages you from head to toe and you can even insert your hands here. Show them, show them. You can insert your hands inside to get that ultimate full body massage. Right in the comfort of your So body. heated siya, heated yung the paa, heated yung back if you wanted to. And then it measures, ito yung mind blowing. It measures your height, right? So it knows where to position the feet, mm -hmm. and it measures your shoulders, so it knows where to need your shoulders. Yeah, so it doesn't matter oh. if Slater uses it, if Slater's super tall, or, or if I use it and I'm super Slater, petite. Oh, petite. So it, it really, right like, word. yeah, petite is the right word. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it petite measures petite. accordingly and massages in the exact same way. It's really good. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have our little bedroom slippers over here, one on each side. Slater has his two, although he never uses it. Mm -hmm. He's a barefoot contessa. <laughs> Slater loves to go barefoot. This is my side. I have an elephant here, flowers, pillow spray. Just your ordinary side table. And Slater's is even more ordinary than mine, I would say. And this is island paint. And if you look closely, there's actually texture on the wall. So it's like hidden. Feature. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. I have no idea how they did that, but Slater it's worked his magic. Everything. Yeah, I never also thought that I'd want to have a room that was painted black, but because this room is so open, there are windows on all sides except for this wall, mm -hmm. then it doesn't feel as stuffy or as secluded or as dark as a normal black room. So I like it. So again, the pool can be seen. Mm -hmm. The pool can be seen right from our bedroom. We also have a nice view of the mountains. Oh, and our master's bedroom, if you notice, there's no TV. We mm -hmm. want, actually she wanted a TV here. 
but I wanted a place that when you go inside your master's bedroom, you just, it's a rest place, a resting place. Mm -hmm. I think it's no more of a habit thing, like when you go inside a room and there's no distractions, mm -hmm. there's not a lot of things to do, your mind immediately gears down to be ready for sleeping. Yeah. Right. Welcome to our master's bathroom. This is my sink and Slater has his own sink over there. Mm -hmm. There too, so we don't fight over who gets to use the sink first, especially when we have to get ready at the same time in the mornings. Yes, it's the same quartz table uh, counter that we used for the kitchen. And there's also a saving tip for you guys. If you are using like whole slabs of quartz, then you can use the spare for other places in your house. Like we use the spare for our sink. And that saves us a lot of money. Oh. So um, yeah, going through here would be Chris's closet. And that's my small closet. Guys, if you've seen my Instagram post, my small closet, in half invaded by Chris. Half invaded by our <laughs> linens, not by myself. And <laughs> um, this is her. And this is my closet. Close. Which I also did an in depth tour on. So you guys can check that out if you want to see all of the things in detail. This is my little closet. I wanted it to be very feminine. So I kept everything glass, filled with gold handles, and a very beautiful neutral gray. Mm -hmm. And on my vanity, we have this marble that matches perfectly with the gray as well. And of course, my beautiful Hollywood lights that I can't live without. This is essentially the girliest part of the house. Really? Even more girly than my pink room? Okay. <laughs> Second earliest part of the house. You know, you know what's funny is when Slater built the house, um, he had this concept of his dream house that he's been save, saving in his phone for like years and years and years. And I really didn't want to interfere because I knew that he, he's been wanting this house for such a long time. But he always told me like, it's your house too. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you really, really want. And this is what I really, really want. And so here we are. It's a Slater's very chic, Neutral house with injections of Chris. Yeah. To give you an idea, guys, initially I wanted a big bathroom with a bathtub or a jacuzzi. Uh, but there's no jacuzzi. If you see the tour, there's no jacuzzi. Because you have to make space for your wife's closet. Yes, because she wanted to give you a scale of Chris's walk in closet. It's about as big it's as the guest room. It's <laughs> enough. <laughs> it, is, it is. I think it is exactly the size of one bedroom. In yeah, but I have a lot of clothes. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No need to be defensive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the outdoor part of our house. We have a Vito Selmo chairs. They, he gave this to us for uh, our wedding housewarming present. slash wedding present. This is where Sky and I wait for Slater while he's swimming. And Slater is the one who makes the most use of our pool. Yes. And Sky and I are always just chilling, waiting for him to finish. So this is where we do that. Mm -hmm. And then we have a small garden area. And we have our fire pit area. Dun, dun, dun. Because Slater thinks the Philippines it's needs not hot enough. more heat. Yeah. During the winter season in the Philippines. <laughs> These chairs are from Hay Design. Um, these oh, are very much the Palisade chairs. Great outdoor chairs. It's finished really well, so that you don't see any rusting going on. It rains pretty tough here, and the winds are super strong. But these chairs have withstood the thunder and the storm. They're the best. Amazing. I got yeah. them also at hey Design. Design Story, yeah, in Manila. Yeah. And um, the the best thing about this is it's it's ergonomic. Mm. It doesn't look comfortable, but when you sit down, it's perfect. It's so comfortable. And this is a fire pit I made myself. We have a cutting machine for steel. So I designed this and then cut it out. This is actually three panels that are fused together, or like assembled together. And Throw it's actually a working fire pit, but we haven't used this at all. It's too hot, man. I can't. <laughs> This tree, Maybe in the future. para sa mga green warriors Jan, um, this tree is actually uh, came from a mango tree that has fallen in a construction area that we got and then we chopped. Sustainable, it's, it's sustainable. Yeah. <laughs> Kasi, you know, uh, judges, Jan, la, 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 ngayon, puro woke. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Mga mema, may masabi lang. Grabe ko yun. Anyway. On a positive note. Ito yung garden namin. <laughs> oh, oh, show them our cactus first. Show them our cactus. Oh, yeah. This is our cactus. From our outdoor area, you can actually see. We the... bought this cactus before we moved in. It was a baby. It had like It what, was shorter five? than Chris. It was like this. It had like five little oh, ba? leaves. Oh. And now look at it. It loves us. It loves the sky pot. It's very low maintenance. Mm. We don't even like do anything with it. Yeah, just it's just it just chills there and it's pretty awesome. I love our cactus. We should name it. We should name our cactus. Kakati. <laughs> now, now we're stepping into our garden. <laughs> so it's a very simple garden. It's not a it's not huge. huge area, but it, we like to have like a little bit of green. Especially coming from inside, you can see greens. And uh, we're using solar lights. So these are from Amazon. These are fairly cheap, with like $20 euro. But it's um, very cost efficient. You don't have to put wiring. You just stick, it, stick them in and it looks very nice at night. Right. And this is our baby pine tree. Mm -hmm. When we got it, it was still a baby. And it still is. And it's still a baby. I don't know why it takes so long for a pine tree. <laughs> nila. <laughs> because it's very windy here, pine trees take a long, long time to grow because they're rooting really, really well before they can come up. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I can't wait because I want this to be our actual Christmas tree mm -hmm. in the future. So, kaya mo yan. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I'm so happy that you're finally able to enter the Sky Pod and we were able to tour you guys inside. Finally, yeah. after seven much, months. much delay. Yes, thank you for being so patient with us, and we hope that you enjoyed this little tour. Slater is planning to do a more technical tour, maybe on his Instagram. So do follow him. I'll put a link down below. If you mm -hmm. guys want more detailed information about all the little things, nooks and crannies of our house. Kasi ang gusto ko sabihin, nais mga mas more detailed uh, parts of the house, the architectural, the design, the, mm -hmm. but it's not. Um, I, I have my name, Mrs. <laughs> Anyway, if you guys um, have any questions for us, video suggestions or questions for us later, then please do follow him on Instagram, leave us a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, ring the notification bell so you get updated every time we have new videos, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!